Can you take the kitchen sink on your motorcycle camping trip? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well in these trying times. So in this video, I'm talking about uh, going away uh, for your motorcycle adventures, a moto camping trip, let's say, and uh, what can you take with you? Now, really what I'm talking about in this video is electrical accessories uh, for your camping trip, whatever it is. Now, I've been looking at a lot of uh, motorhome camper van videos recently, those van life videos, and taking inspiration of what they use and how they power it as well. So basically, if you're in a uh, big camper van, let's say mobile home, motorhome, uh, well, then you can have some leisure batteries and uh, that can power your 12 volt supply. Uh, you could also put that power through an inverter so you can get mains power, 110 10 volts or 220, 230, 240 volts, wherever you are in the world. So you can have your vehicle battery and alternator that can charge those leisure batteries. You can have a mains power hookup, uh, a shore power as, as it were, that can actually charge those leisure batteries. Or you can have uh, solar panels on, on your roof and they can charge uh, those batteries as well. So that you'll always have power, electrical power for all your electrical devices. Oh, great. One big flaw with that impressive plan is that it doesn't quite work for motorcycle uh, lifestyles or motorcycle camping uh, because it's about size, isn't it? Size and weight uh, and how much you can carry. Let's face it, in the kind of camper van motorhome world, you're taking the home creature comforts with you, more or less, uh, and putting it in a van or a motorhome. So you can take all those electrical devices, you can take all those uh, different things that you would normally use in your home, put it in your camper van, power it either by a 12 volt supply or by a main supply, however you generate it, and away you go. But you can't really do that to that degree on a motorcycle. Why? Electrically, you can do exactly the same. You can have your motorcycle battery and alternator which charges your motorcycle battery and then you could have a separate leisure battery, uh, a lithium battery, let's say. You can even have compact ones uh, that you could actually start charging. You could have external solar panels uh, that can actually charge up that leisure battery. You could have an external mains power, shore power electrical hookup to charge up uh, that uh, leisure battery as well. But it all comes down to the amount of space and weight that will be available on your motorcycle. And let's face it, there isn't a lot. So how can you get that kind of van life, motorhome, uh, working electrical system that could power some electrical accessories for your motorcycle adventures, your motorcycle camping trip. Well, there are a few things to consider because actually we want to tailor this to traveling light, traveling on a motorcycle, motorcycle camping. But you may want to power some electrical devices, let's say like a, a laptop. Now, uh, why on earth would you be taking a laptop with you, you might ask, uh, on a motorcycle camping trip? Well, it really depends. You might want to watch some movies uh, whilst you're away. Uh, you may be a content creator. You want to be making um, video editing uh, on the go, as it were. So there are lots of reasons. You might be using it for business, for work, whatever it is. So you need some way of charging it. But actually, there's lots of ways of charging electrical devices whilst you're on the go, whilst you're on the move. So basically, you can use USB uh, outlets, uh, you can use uh, cigar outlets, and uh, either five volt or 12 volt uh, outlets on the motorcycle to charge electrical accessories. You can use small inverters that will actually charge one electrical accessory at a time. So on the move, it isn't really an issue. It's when you arrive at your motorcycle camping spot and you want to power electrical devices, well, how are you going to do it? Well, we've already talked about leisure batteries. You could have leisure batteries and you can have all those different ways of charging those leisure batteries on your motorcycle, but you'd have no room for anything else. And let's face it, it's gonna be cumbersome and it's not really in the motorcycle lifestyle vein, is it? But we wanna take that same kind of capability 
and put it on a motorcycle. So there are different ways you can do it and it really depends on what electrical devices you're going to be powering. Now in the description below I've put a whole host of electrical devices that you can power by 12 volts and these are like hair straighteners, hair dryers, uh, kettles, that kind of thing. Now many of you might be thinking look oh, oh, hold on hold on a minute uh, I'm a biker uh, you know I'm going moto camping you know I travel light I don't need any of that uh, just give me a little cooking stove uh, I've got my mobile phone that's all I need well actually do you know what we're of like minds I would go very basic uh, first and foremost however we're not really talking about the likes of you and I we're talking about other people who may want to come along for the ride as well let's say let's just say that it's um you know we've all been cooped up in our houses for far too long we want to go out on the open road and we want to bring other people with us who are not really into the motor camping they're not really into uh, downsizing that much uh, to be able to experience it uh, the way that we would normally experience it so maybe they do need the hair dryer the the hair straighteners they want some kind of electrical device you know a kettle whatever it is they want that heated blanket you know just to make them feel a little bit more comfortable and that's a personal choice so the challenge is for you to be able to provide electrical power uh, to facilitate their uh, desires how are you going to do it? Now, the reason I'm making this video is because technology is evolving all the time. Uh, if it was a simple case that you just wanted to keep your phone charged, let's say, then you could just use uh, any old uh, power bank, let's say, got a couple of USB outlets, and uh, this will probably charge your phone three or four times, and it should last you no problem. You could actually charge this on the go on your motorcycle as you're riding along, so you should have enough power to charge your mobile phone. Let's talk about camera batteries. Well, actually, you can charge camera batteries, almost uh, all camera batteries, uh, by USB outlets on your motorcycle or by a 12-volt uh, supply on your motorcycle, and that will usually charge those batteries. Now, many people will tell you that you must have uh, a mains outlet power supply to charge whatever batteries you have. That isn't always the case. In fact, in most cases, it's not that at all. What you'll find is that on most electrical devices that have a battery, let's say, that needs to be charged, well, there's going to be some kind of transformer plug that takes mains power and then uh, downsizes it from AC uh, to DC and they'll downsize it from 110, 220, 230, 240, whatever it is, down to, let's say, it might be 3 volts, 12 volts, uh, 20, 20 volts, whatever it is. All you need to do is match that output voltage from the transformer or from the transformer plug uh, that goes into your battery or into your uh, charger. Most chargers will accept the 12 volts that has come in directly from your motorcycle uh, battery via a cigar lighter or a 12 volt uh, USB. Now for any electrical accessory or for those uh, chargers that require uh, a 240 volt or a 110 volt uh, with a certain amount of wattage, let's say 150 watts, uh, let's say, well then you can get very small uh, inverters that will fit directly into your cigar lighter that are powered by a 12 volt that steps up to an AC uh, output uh, voltage and then you can charge it directly to there. Now you can charge laptops with that, you can charge uh, any electrical device. Now I'm talking about charging on the motorcycle. So lots of different ways with small inverters, whatever, to be able to charge electrical consumers uh, such as laptops. But anything that generates heat or anything that has a turning motion, let's say a motor, is going to require a lot more power. So it's not necessarily the voltage and it's not necessarily the amperage, it's the wattage. Uh, that's what you've got to add up and that's what you've got to determine whether you're going to have an inverter that is suitable to convert a DC 12 volt power into uh, the power required for whatever electrical device you have. The trick here is to have your moto camping, motorcycle lifestyle or electrical lifestyle all geared towards 12 volts or very low voltage. So any electrical accessory that you have, you try and get a 12 volt uh, supply for it. Any electrical device that normally runs off AC main voltage, then you try and get uh, some kind of adapter that you can buy off Amazon or eBay or somewhere like that that could actually power this directly from 
a 12 volt supply or if you can find some kind of small transformer or small inverter that would do the same task now as i said i put lots of links in the description of uh, many electrical accessories that you would normally associate with having a, a mains power supply well actually you can power these things with a, a 12 volt supply as well they may not be as high powered they may not to run as hot or they may not boil the kettle as quick however uh, they still do function okay so that is electrical power on the move that is converting uh, power on the move to charge electrical accessories then let's say when you're at the base camp what do you do well all of that still applies but now we need a power source that is independent of the motorcycle uh, because either you're going to run the motorcycle battery uh, low too low or you're going to have to have the motorcycle running the whole time just to power your electrical accessories which isn't going to work what we've also got to understand as well that uh, motorcycle car van batteries are a different type they need to have uh, three quarters to full charge in order to be able to start uh, the vehicle to provide enough electrical current uh, to to start the starter motor and so on and so forth whereas leisure batteries are slightly different actually were well, totally different uh, concept in that you can actually let those drain all the way down let's say and they're still going to be delivering uh, that power but the power that they'll be delivering are to low demand consumers so let's say if you want to charge up a phone well actually the amount of current the amount of power the amount of, of voltage that's going into this is actually very low so it, it doesn't need a high boost uh, of power let's say like a starter battery vehicle starter battery it just needs some steady power to go through to it the same for most electrical accessories as well so what could you have that is going to be suitable for a motorcycle but is not a leisure battery that's going to be in place of a leisure battery well now we're going to take this concept of the power bank and just put it on steroids now if you've been in the van life world or the camper van motorhome world uh, this has kind of been a lot more popular over the last couple of years two three years let's say uh, these uh, power banks that have come out so that can uh, provide you with multiple 12 volt outlets of different types and multiple ac um, mains uh, voltage as well it's got inbuilt inverters and they've usually got lithium batteries uh, inbuilt as well and they're they're essentially uh, leisure batteries uh, with lots of externals on them as well external outlets you can charge them uh, via mains power when you're at home you can charge them by a cigar lighter uh, on the move let's say so you could charge it on your motorcycle as you're riding along or in your car or your vehicle but you could also get solar panels as well uh, to charge it uh, whilst you're at base camp as well. Now, if you're in a larger vehicle, you can afford to uh, get a larger power bank uh, or a solar generator, as they're more commonly known, uh, and with 500 watts, 1,000 watts output. And these will last you for quite a few days as well, uh, depending on what kind of uh, electrical power demands you have. But they can be able to power your hair dryers, uh, your straighteners the kettles that kind of thing electric blankets radios whatever you can even power tvs all that kind of stuff off these uh, big power generators let's say but really whilst they're ideal for general camping purposes they're still on the large side for motorcycle camping but now you can get smaller units that are still pumping out over 100 watts, let's say, a couple of hundred watts, 300 watts, and they're very small units, very compact units as well. So have a look on uh, Amazon and eBay, and there's lots on offer. As I say, I've put lots of links in the description for you as well, but there are different solar generators out there. Uh, the Jackery ones uh, for the United States, let's say the Power Oak ones here from me here in Europe, uh, all really good, and there's lots of other different makes as well uh, that are all the, those of the bigger size. So if you're in a camper van, let's say, or you're going off four by four adventures uh, of a weekend, you probably lean towards one of those. However, motorcycling, if you went for the Pokey one or the Flylink Tech one, they're much smaller and a lot more compact, let's say, a lot more lightweight. Some are in the region of about one and a half kilos. They could easily put in a bag, in a saddle bag, let's say, and uh, you'll be able to have a lots of power at base camp for 12 volt supplies 
and also for uh, AC outlets as well if you really uh, require it. Most electrical accessories that you'll find will have some way of being able to charge those supplies direct from a 12 volt supply. So you don't necessarily need an AC uh, supply, a mains outlet supply, even though you think you would, even though normally you think, okay, I have to power this by a main supply. Actual fact, if you look at that uh, particular electrical accessory, as I say, they usually have some kind of transformer on them and the resulting voltage power to charge that uh, device or power that device is a lot lower than mains uh, power and actually it can be converted uh, into uh, DC power battery power so basically you have these power banks now uh, which are evolving all the time you can have little power banks like this that are actually just solar powered power banks so if it's a case of just wanting to charge mobile phones or very small electrical devices uh, or actually you can use this this one it's quite old now but i actually charge my gopro batteries with this as well uh, it takes a little bit longer but it does work with small power banks you can actually charge quite a lot with solar powered power banks as i said there's a link in the description for one of those as well uh, but you can power your electrical devices you can charge your electrical devices and also be constantly being recharged as well so it's all great so that's really small that's really compact if you want to power even more electrical accessories let's say then get one of these solar generators that can be stored on your motorcycle and then when you're at base camp you can put all your electrical accessories everything that needs to be charged into there overnight and away you go now lastly one of the reasons for making this video is that sometimes people can be a little bit concerned about going on any kind of camping trip or any hiking trip let's say and having to sleep overnight especially if they have some kind of medical condition uh, that requires some kind of electrical device uh, as they sleep like a, a CPAP machine or something like that well actually these kind of power banks or even larger power banks now they're actually getting a lot more compact a lot more lightweight that you can actually carry them with you you can carry all the electrical devices that you need to keep you healthy uh, and you can also power them as well. So you can be isolated wherever you are, but you can still enjoy the scenery just as much as anybody else. Uh, but you now you have a comfortable, compact power source uh, that will keep you going for a few days at least. The beauty of these as well, as I say, that you can charge them whilst you're on the move. So as soon as you get back riding again, you charge them up again. Now, with all of these different types of power banks, these solar generators, they usually have the capacity to be charged by solar panels. So the Jackery, the Power Rogue, uh, even those small uh, compact ones, the Pokey and the uh, Fly Link Tech. Uh, there are lots of others on the market as well. I've literally just picked these at random that had uh, decent uh, capacity and decent uh, output as well but all of these can be powered by solar panels so you can get different solar panels uh, to match uh, your uh, solar generator what you've got to do is match the solar panel output capacity and the maximum input capacity uh, into the solar generator and that will be all listed in the tech so let's just say the jackery requires a hundred watt input maximum that you can get a solar solar panel that only puts out 100 watts. The Power Rogue solar generator only allows 120 watts, so you get a solar panel uh, with 120 watt output, so on and so forth. Now, depending on the output capacity of that solar panel as well, they all come in different sizes. And as you can imagine, the uh, the larger the solar panel, uh, usually the greater the output there's going to be. Now, obviously, technology is evolving all the time, so that isn't always the case. In fact, newer solar panels are going to be a lot more efficient uh, than our older solar panels but now there are many options of folding solar panels in fact solar panels that can be folded many times so they're smaller solar panels but many more of them that actually can be folded down into a compact uh, block let's say and then you could actually pop that in your motorcycle bag as well so lots of electrical supply privileges that you would always associate with either living in a house or a flat, a domestic residence, uh, or on the move in a camper van or a motorhome, uh, an RV if you're, if you're in the United States, let's say. But now you can take a lot of that know-how and transfer it onto a motorcycle so that you'll have uh, base power for wherever you are. 
you can charge on the move you can power electric accessories on the move if you're just charging batteries and that's what i would normally do if i needed a battery power at the other end let's say for my cameras or whatever it was but if i want power at base camp well now i can have all that uh, just with a solar generator and if it's on the motorcycle i take a smaller one if i was going off on my 4x4 or in my motor van my uh, motorhome let's say then i take a much larger solar generator output capacity why because it's going to last longer and usually if i'm going to go off in a, let's say a 4x4 or a motorhome i'm not traveling by myself i'll probably have the family with me as well so the output demands are going to be a lot greater however if you're just traveling by yourself motor camping or you're going with one other let's say uh, then your output demands are going to be a lot less the key here is really to always try and travel light as we do in the motorcycle world anyway but whatever electrical consumables that you require to take with you on your trip First of all, try and get a 12 volt equivalent uh, or try and get something that is battery powered that you can charge at home that will last for two or three days for the length of your trip or that you could charge uh, on the move. But something that's going to be a lightweight, compact and uh, that you can power by 12 volts or by batteries. If you have an electrical accessory that must be powered by mains voltage, 110, 220, 230, 240, whatever it is, uh, then you can, as I say, get these uh, solar generators as well. That will also provide all your 12 volt supplies, uh, your USB outlets, let's say, cigar outlets, uh, and also uh, your mains plug outlets as well. So that's something that could really work for you. But there you go, there's lots of information that you can take from the van life world, from the motorhome world, let's say, and bring it over, cross it over to the motorcycle world. But obviously some things just won't work. The, the size, the weight, uh, the practicality of having all that electrical distribution, leisure batteries from the motorhome world, let's say, on a motorcycle, that's just not gonna work. However, you can move away from that and just have electrical charging on the motorcycle cycle uh, as you normally would and uh, you watch all my previous videos and I'll show you how to do all that as well but now you can have these power banks these solar generators that are compact and it's going to have uh, all your electrical needs taken care of Anyway, hope you found that useful. Lots of links in the description below, as I say, for lots of electrical consumers that are powered by 12 volts. All those are solar generators, the larger ones and the more compact ones, solar panels. Uh, so there's lots for you to feast upon and consider if you're going to try and get away uh, for your motorcycle camping adventures uh, in the coming months let's say but bear this in mind this technology is evolving all the time as well so you can get really high output solar generators now that are going to be smaller and compact you can get low powered output uh, power banks let's say with an ac uh, supply let's say 80 watts uh, and they're very small they're about that, that small so really small if you just wanted some base power for some kind of electrical accessories but if you want something a little bit more you've got uh, two or three people with you four people with you let's say then getting one of these portable power packs is actually the way to go but the they're evolving all the time and the technology is just getting better and better well electrical is the way forward and if you can power that by the sun with solar panels or whilst you're on the move uh, all's the better anyway hope you found that useful as i say links in the description don't forget to subscribe like and share and uh, check out the website revelatoralf.com and i'll catch you down the road or maybe on a camping site very soon Ta -da.